I'd like to come to you today speaking to you about our older community, about our elders. Something that is still experienced in the African American or black community, most especially in the older generation. We have levels of mistrust for the healthcare system they interact with. It's important that they feel heard, affirm their concerns, and ensure their treatment is delivered with full transparency. Gaining their trust will be crucial in delivering effective care. Other members of the Hispanic community experience some clinical mistrust as well. At home remedies are a common place, as you will often hear, herbs, fruits, vegetables, roots, or teas are used to end pain or illness. It is expected in the Hispanic community that the elderly are not placed in the nursing home. It is important that this priority be recognized when providing or suggesting care. Differences in language, both spoken and otherwise, are commonplace. In tribal nations, a native tongue is often spoken as a first language and not English, especially in older generations. This can cause patients to not understand what healthcare providers who primarily or exclusively speak English are saying. It is imperative to consider other boundaries or other cultural expectations that exist. Note that medicine can often be paired with or exist as ceremonies or events. For an example, sweat lodges may be used with the intention of sweating out impurities. What is the person's relationship to clinical treatment or research in the past? This might prove to be a crucial question to ask in strengthening trust with patients. Elders in the Pacific Islander community are highly respected. They are seen as the heads that hold families together and are honored for their wisdom in cultural and spiritual matters. They are sought out whenever there is a decision to be made within a family or village. It is believed and practiced that the young care for the elderly whether they are blood related or not. Utmost respect is reserved in this community for elders and seldom if ever is sending them to nursing homes considered as an option. The biggest challenge is the language because many of them do not speak enough English uh, since they come from countries where English might not be the, the, the primary language. So when they get here, they are not able to communicate with healthcare providers and sometimes interpreters are not always available. They, they don't pay attention to do like a new checkup. They just wait until they get sick and that's when they seek for, um, for medical medical services, which might be too late if they have like health conditions. The whole healthcare system here is different from, from the way you schedule an appointment. Uh, sometimes you have to do it online. So, and then the technology uh, problem also comes in. And also transportation, when you have to drive to see the doctor, um, many of them, because they are old, they are not driving, so they have to wait for their, for their children to, to drive them.